Hello everyone, some quick updates from city government. As always, go to our website, citylacrosse.org to find out more. I'm here at the Collective on 4th. It's a, a big development project that's uh, going on between uh, Mississippi and Jackson Street on 4th Street. And uh, this is a 62 unit development. And uh, it's, it's exciting because among other things, it is primarily focused on folks who are earning less than the median income of the county. Uh, also, there'll be 13 units that are set aside for those families who are exiting homelessness. And then there's 10 market rate apartments as well. So an exciting project and one that we're, we're thrilled to get going. Now it's just started, but there's foundations poured, the crews are moving fast. We expect to get this completed by next May with occupancy shortly thereafter. So great project, the collective on fourth. A couple of other things that I wanted to mention. Uh, the city, of course, just launching its uh, its uh, uh, first time home buyer assistance program for those look, looking out there for a, for a new home. Obviously, with the housing market the way it is, it's really difficult to sometimes get that down payment together to buy a home. Well, the City of La Crosse is helping out with that. Go to cityoflacrosse.org forward slash down payment assistance to learn more, to see if you qualify. A great program. I hope many of you take advantage of it. So a uh, couple of decisions by the city council just recently. One of them is to fund a, uh, an update of the zoning codes for the city of La Crosse. And that is going to help us do a number of things. Among them is to develop more housing within the city of La Crosse. And that's great news because uh, we sorely need housing. As many of you know, there's a shortage of housing here in the city of La Crosse. And we're really working at that. Among the ways we're gonna do that is uh, update our zoning code. So very excited about that news. Uh, some other changes or decisions made by the city council just recently among them, you may have heard of this, the city council opted to not put a pause on its sidewalk infill program. So uh, one of the things that we try to do is connect neighborhoods with sidewalks uh, to make sure that there is uh, transportation equity and, and access for everyone. Now, some of you may agree with that, some of you may not, but if you want to find out more information, you can go to our website at cityoflacrosse.org and there's information there about exactly how the sidewalk infill program works. Just go to the engineering page and check the tab under sidewalks and it'll give you all the information you might want to know about a, the City of La Crosse sidewalk infill program. Uh, very excited to announce a, uh, an award that the city has received from Bloomberg Philanthropies. It's the Youth Climate Action Fund Award. And this is, this is thrilling because this is Bloomberg Philanthropies that has really stepped up and I identified that engaging youth is incredibly important for promoting resiliency within communities and helping to mitigate the impacts of global climate change. So we, La Crosse, is one of 100 cities in the entire world that has received this award. We're very excited to launch this, to get it going, and really to engage young people in our community in relation to developing resiliency projects. Well, that's about it for more now. As always, go to our website again, sailacross.org, to find out all the things that we're working on. All right. Be well, take care of each other. We'll talk again soon.